Hi guys, it's Daniel, and I'm going to do part two of the logarithms videos. This is a 1984 Amy number five. So you can first try to do it by yourself. Pause the video. Alright, so first off we notice that there are some different bases, base 8 and base 4. And we don't really like different bases because they're hard to work with. So we want to try to turn them into the one constant base. But how do we do that? First off we notice that these are both powers of 2. And this brings up to mind a property of logarithms which is log base a to the power of n of b is equal to 1 over n times log base a of b. Now if we do this on both of these equations, then we get the two equations 1 third log base 2 of a plus 1 half log base 2 of b squared equals 5 and 1 third log base 2 of b plus 1 half log base 2 of a squared equals 7 and uh, now it's a lot simpler because it's all in the same base but we still have these uh, these powers right here and we don't really like powers either so how do we get rid of these? Now there's a, another property of logarithms, which is log base a of b to the power of n equals n times log base a of b. So using this, we see that 1 half log base 2 of b squared uh, turns into 1 half times 2 times log base 2 of b, which is just equal to log base 2 of b. And similarly, 1 half log base 2 of a squared equals log base 2 of a. So our system of equations turns into 1 third log base 2 of a plus log base 2 of b and 1 third log base 2 of b plus log base 2 of a. So now we recognize that there's a log base 2 of a and a log base 2 of b. Log base 2 of a, log base 2 of b. So uh, this is basically just a system of equations. Two variables, two equations. So we can just solve it. We can do it by elimination or substitution or whatever, however you want. But notice that we're trying to find the value of a times b. And uh, there's an easier way to get to a times b than to solve this. If we, instead of solving, just add these two equations together, then we get 4 thirds times the quantity log base 2 of a plus log base 2 of b equals 12. Now we can get rid of this 4 thirds by multiplying by 3 divided by 4. So 12 times 3 divided by 4 is simply 9. So now we see the log base 2 of a plus log base 2 of b and recognize that we can use the property log base a of b plus log base a of c equals log base a of b times c. So this turns into log base 2 of a times b. And this equals 9. And now finally, turning this into exponent form, we get a times b equals 2 to the power of 9. And this equals 512. 